Hey there, hi there, ho there, fun food fans. It's Karen Ricks, head chef of our kitchen classroom, and I am here today with our little Sue. Say hi to everybody, kiddo. Hi, guys. For a very special video series this week. What are we celebrating, sir? My book promotion. That's right. Our little Sue has a brand new book out. What's it called? My life is a world schooler so far, and remember to get that so far part. <laughs> and of course, knowing all the work that he does here at our kitchen classroom, you know that the culinary education is a huge part of his world schooling. So our little Sue is going to demonstrate some easy and actionable techniques that you can use in your kitchen classroom, wherever you are in the world, to invite your children, your young ones, all of your loved ones, no matter what age, into the kitchen to create some delicious memories this December. And so what is the special dish that we're going to work up to make it this week, sir? Ginger? No, we're going to use ginger. That's what we're doing today. What are we, what did we have as part of brunch this morning? Bread pudding. That's right. Bread pudding. But we're going to make a very special holiday spiced bread pudding. So we're going to demonstrate a series of techniques that you can do easily, quickly, with little helpers of any age. And we're going to show you how to incorporate all those techniques into that special holiday spiced bread pudding at the end of the week. All right. Are you ready to get started? Yep. Okay. So you already mentioned what the key ingredient is for the first one. What is it we've got today? Yeah. All right, so you can see our little Sue is holding up a ginger root. You can find this where you would find produce, usually in your local markets. You're looking for something that has a smooth and light brown skin. You can see where he's already started peeling because that's the technique he's going to be demonstrating for you today. But you want something that has smooth, not wrinkled skin, and that is firm, not soft or mushy to the touch. And what is the special tool that we're using for peeling today? A Bam. That's right, a spoon. So many of you parents tell me you're worried about your little ones working with a knife in your kitchen classroom. Well, as you can see, our little Sue is using a spoon. That's right, all you need is a spoon to gently scrape off that smooth brown peel in order to reach that light yellow, very fragrant flesh inside the ginger root so that you can add this to all of your holiday dishes. How does it smell, sir? Ooh. <laughs> That's right. Ginger has long been a favorite uh, spice, not just for the holidays, but all year round. Ginger is great for easing uh, or soothing an Ooh. upset stomach. Ah. Uh oh, did you get some in your eye? You gotta Ginger be careful. <laughs> Scrape it ah. away from you and down into the bowl, please. <laughs> you wanna make sure that um, you are accessing the light yellow flesh inside the ginger for the strongest and most powerful flavors. And whether you're using this ginger in uh, sweet or savory dishes, you probably don't want the papery brown skin inside. And so scraping with a spoon just like this is something that your young ones can handle safely and That's easily. That's right in order to get at the part that we really want. So you can see how quickly he was able to scrape away some of that brown skin. Now, after you've done that, in order to use the ginger, what are we gonna to wanna to do? Grater. That's right, we're gonna use a grater. Now you can see that this particular grater, can you turn it so everybody can see the side? It has two sets of holes. There are really, really small holes and much larger holes. Depending on what you're using the ginger for, you can choose the size that you want. But since our knob of ginger has a more narrow end and a wider end, our little Sue is gonna grab the narrow end so it gives his hand a better feel and he's decided to use the smaller grating holes so that we can get the maximum flavor out of our ginger. Now, curling his fingers so they stay away from those sharp grating teeth, he's gonna just gently rub down the grater in order to access the ginger. Now, ginger is a great holiday flavor that we can use in all sorts of ginger things. Ginger bread. 
We, it's great in gingerbread. Yes, we've made gingerbread cakes and cookies using fresh gingerbread grated men. ginger, just like this. That's right, gingerbread, gingerbread men. houses. And houses and gingerbread. all the things with ginger. Ooh, gingerbread city. Ooh, that'd be a good project. <laughs> it's been a while since we've done a gingerbread city, right? Uh, but you but can- Like a, ginger, a whole city of yes, gingerbread. Yes, I know. But you can also use ginger in savory dishes, like stir fries, right? When we make like, um, stir fried um, or fried rice, we put ginger in there. We had ginger in our duck last week too, didn't we? Really? Yes, that was one of the marinade flavors that went into the duck. All right, so you can see now, our little Sue has grated a teeny little bit of ginger, but that powerful little grated spoonful that he's got right there is gonna impart an enormous pungent holiday flavor into whatever we choose to use it with. We need to taste it though. Okay, go ahead and taste. Let's get the skin off my finger. All right, taste it. But even as a tiny, teeny, mouth. tiny little piece, how does it taste? Let's see. <laughs> it's powerful. That's why we like to That's mix it with teeny bit. lots of other things in our holiday dishes. All right, we're gonna share these videos with you every single day this week. So be sure to come back tomorrow and see what else we're tossing in as we bring together our holiday spiced bread pudding, one of our favorite dishes here to celebrate the end of the year. And to learn more of all the wonderful ways that our little Sue is learning on our wild and wonderful world schooling adventures, check out ourkitchenclassroom.com so that you can purchase his brand new book. Say, see you later, everybody. See ya. Have a good time.